I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMER 2 News Update. Meteorologist Patrick Pete tracking our latest round of weather. So what should we expect, Patrick? Uh, expecting to wake up to snow on the roads. It's going to be a slippery drive and visibility could be reduced and it's going to be cold. Temperatures only climbing into the upper 20s for most of the day. Wind chills hanging out in the low 20s, upper teens throughout most of your Thursday. Uh, looking at a change of sleet and freezing rain as we head into the afternoon and evening where most of us pick up two to five inches along the I-95 corridor. Going to be lower totals south and east of the corridor and higher totals north and west could see up to eight inches in some places. So going to all clear out Friday and cold numbers build in as we head towards the weekend. Daytime highs by next Monday hitting 45. All right, thanks, Patrick. And the snow and ice will impact people who'd plan to get their COVID-19 vaccine. University of Maryland Medical Center downtown and the center at Midtown have canceled vaccine appointments Thursday. COVID-19 vaccine appointments in Frederick County also canceled and the Six Flags and Baltimore Convention Center sites will be closed. People who had appointments at any of those sites will have their appointments rescheduled. Howard County is loosening more of its restrictions. Wedding receptions, social and fraternal organizations can host up to 50% capacity. Indoor recreational sports and programs could be at 50% capacity or 100 people, whichever is less. And outdoor sports programs can have 50% capacity or 250 people. Events like family gatherings, partings and conventions have been limited still to 10 people indoors and 25 people outdoors. The mayor of Baltimore eased some of the city's COVID-19 restrictions as well today. Now that infections, hospitalizations and deaths have gone down, starting at 6 a.m. on Monday morning, there will no longer be a one hour limit on dining. However, restaurants still have to keep track of who dines with them and when. Indoor dining will also remain at 25 percent capacity, while outdoor dining remains at 50 percent. One restaurant owner says he'll do whatever he can to survive with these new conditions. I'm going to take whatever's dealt with me. Um, 49 weeks ago, the restrictions started. I pivoted to carry out. I built that up. Then they let me open 25%. I'm going to be positive and do what they say. Again, the modifications go into effect at 6 a.m. on Monday in Baltimore City. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can take a look at our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.